always the gatherings and get together of the cousins and all the aunties and uncles, all the um, chit chats, all the food. We have our own, like, uh, we seek forgiveness between each other first, uh, right in our house, before leaving for our grandma's place. Yeah, so that's where the tears start flowing. Uh. Almost uh, every weekend was occupied to do visits, uh, but we not forgetting the S League, we still attend the games. My mother was watching uh, Iqbal when, uh, yeah, when there is a live game. So even uh, Iqbal, uh, some, uh, some news came out from the newspaper, they were, she would cut and uh, put on the fridge there to see uh, all this. Me and my wife and my family didn't, I think if we are in Singapore, we didn't miss any of his games. Even when he's at the age of eight, he, always, he has always been there for me since uh, day one. You know, um, he supported me throughout family school. You know, he always come for my matches, sometimes even for trainings. I remember uh, during secondary school, primary school, I always go home late for playing football. So he, my dad, and my mom will come down to the street soccer and school in front of all my friends. And uh, sometimes before they arrive, I saw them walking. I take my bag and run. Really. Because between us is a tough love. Huh? Because I remember when he told me that uh, I'll never wear the Singapore colours. Yeah, so I, I proved him wrong, huh, basically. So I came back with the national team jersey, and then he saw it, and then he. From that, on, from that day onwards, I see that there's more support. Huh? <laughs> yeah. As a dad, to see the, my, my boys. Representing Singapore, representing uh, the club for for playing uh, uh, sport. I think as a sportman, I'm, I'm, I'm very much uh, proud of myself to, to have a son also uh, doing sport. You know?